Spice Block concert with country music star Colin Ray is now headed to Cedar City, this after receiving support from both the Iron and Washington County Commissions. The free event would openly defy the state COVID-19 restrictions that limit gatherings of up to 50 people. The organizer says he hopes to have a few thousand attend. ABC 4's Katie Corrales reports. Business Revival Group announced the event is moving to Cedar City on Saturday, June 13th at Iron Springs Resort. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why we moved to Southern Utah in the first place. There's a lot of patriots down here. Concert organizer Eric Mutso says he is anxious to help small business owners survive and exercise constitutional freedoms. And right now in this emergency situation, a business revival slash concert is the most patriotic thing we can be doing and so we're not going to stop at anything. Mutso says the Iron County Commission welcomed him with open arms to Southern Utah and he expects to receive a permit from the commissioners. The organizer saying he doesn't believe he'll face the same legal challenges that blocked the event in both Kaysville and Tooele County. Commissioner Paul Cousins issuing a statement that reads, we are thrilled to announce that Iron County is open for business. Please come support small business and enjoy Colin Ray. The Washington County Commission not taking an official stance on the event but openly expressed its support. Chairman Victor Iverson tells ABC4 News no public health policy should violate our constitutional rights. We're looking forward to really just a great event, people coming out, celebrating uh, music, celebrating freedom. Commissioners in Southwest Utah saying they're pleased with the organizers' plans to ensure safety, who've arranged security, emergency medical care, portable toilets, hand washing stations, and donated masks. The Southwest Utah Public Health Department, however, is expressing concern and hoping attendees are social distancing. This amid what is considered a surge of COVID-19 cases in the five-county district and the area's highest total hospitalization since the outbreak began. The total number of cases quintupling since May 1st at 524 current cases. We also feel it's important to let people know that uh, a lot of our newer cases have been from larger gatherings or social gatherings where those uh, social distancing directives weren't observed. In St. George, Katie Kralis, ABC4 News.